Mr. Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, and Nick. What was the driving force that got you through that door the very first time? Were you a student attending for a class project? Had you been sent here by your boss or your company to improve your presentation skills? Were you awkward in social situations, often becoming tongue-tied and brain-dead at the most inopportune times? Whatever the reason, the underlying fact is it was public, the fear of public speaking that got most of us through that door the first time. However, it wasn't public speaking that got me through that door. It was the fear of public singing and the stage fright that accompanies that. Stage fright is manifested several times. It is manifested by fluttering of the heart, trembling of the hands and the feet, diarrhea, the urge to urinate, facial nervous tics, dry mouth. The mere anticipation of my icebreaker kept me awake night after night after night. It seems like just yesterday when my daughter asked me if I would sing at my grandson's baptism. <coughs> She had chosen a beautiful piece of music, a song called Masterpiece, and she was not willing to have anyone else sing it. With excitement on one hand and apprehension on the other, I purchased the sound performance track and I committed that song to memory. I remember that day 15 years ago, like it was yesterday. Was I nervous? Oh, was I nervous. <laughs> I had the heart flutters. I had the trembling hands. I had the dry mouth. And nearly everything else that I described earlier, I was frightened. And I was sure that the congregation could see my heart leaping under my shirt and watch as my knees were doing their own little jitterbug. But I whispered this tiny little prayer and I took a deep, calming breath and I sang my heart out. And it must have been successful because a total stranger came up to me after the service and asked me if I would sing that same baptism song the very next week. <laughs> Seven more nights of sleepless <laughs> tossing and turning. Well, tonight, folks, at no one's request, <laughs> I am going to sing one more time the baptism song. And I'm going to sing it with confidence and assurance the things I've gained from walking through that door a year and a half ago. Before you had a name or recognized your face or anyone could recognize your face You were being formed so delicate in size and if not
in awe because I see in you a reflection of me and you'll always be my little lamb from God and as your life goes on each day how I pray that you will see just how much your life has meant to me and I'm so proud of you what else is there to say? Just be the masterpiece, you're a masterpiece. A new creation he has formed. And you're soft and fresh as a snowy winter morn. And I'm so glad that God has given you to be. We have just witnessed your baptism and we welcome you to the family.